Today I'm going to be unboxing this B script. I received this about a week or so ago and I wanted to unbox it. I'm gonna give my reviews uh, in the end of the video. Um, let's open the box and see what's inside. This particular model, it comes with a macro and white lens. It's compatible with all the phones, but it's not true. It is, but it's an adapter for iPhone 7. So I do have a iPhone 6s Plus and I'm going to use this for a demo. All right, so let's see what's inside the box. Uh, seems to be a very nice box. Alright, so user manual. Uh, it's a nice color manual. It, it shows uh, shows everything that the black needs to be. A leather pouch. A, a piece of cloth to clean it up. The lens, the lens cover for the wide angle in front okay and the macro lens is attached which can be detachable and good piece of some box for the accessories let's see what's in this box So this is a grip, easy to draw out the lens. Uh, there's some alloy and some extension. Let's take a look at the seal of this piece grip. So we can turn this way. Here or on the clicker left hand. Yeah. yeah, yeah maybe because but again the hard shoe or a shoe for the mounting is this only one over here and on the left side I see there are a couple of them I don't know, it didn't came with any it's very good quality uh, I cannot flex this it's very good quality so it's a plastic and it's an aluminum okay uh, so the way it works is like this way so you can Smooth extent, you can even take it out this part as well. You can have just uh, your phone mounted, it's quite nice. So let's go set it up my phone. This part also over here, one smooth as well. So you have to match with these people uh, with the camera, you adjust it, and then screw the lenses on the top and voila I'm actually still looking into it uh, if this is a uh, ideal for me to use for video production and so on usually I take a lot of pictures and some videos on my iPhone but luckily uh, this particular iPhone 6 as well they have a very good stabilizer and but again uh, there are a lot of places where there's a low light and the audio is okay in this case I might be I can end installing mount for the uh, audio or uh, light either way and it is actually also has a lot of uh, tripod mounts on the bottom and on top but nothing on site and uh, I did ask the question before I purchased it is this has a vertical mount and the answer was yes but it doesn't come with it it's actually extra mount and for the iPhone 7 is a, this is actually a doctor, I believe, if I'm not wrong. And uh, they have a iPhone 7 has two lenses, so uh, this particular may not work. So, but make sure that if you're using iPhone 7, you order the right one. I'm gonna put a link below uh, in the description, and also for this where I just got this one. So, I think I paid around for this one $165. And um, who's this for? There are people who like to take pictures, videos, and the good thing about it. With an adapter coming called Dacra Field, you can attach to that one to the 37 if I'm not wrong, and then you can add, uh, add the adapter. And from the adapter, you can use probably any Canon or any other lenses, and you can get a depth of field, uh, like a blurry image in the background, 
which is quite good uh, to have a very professional look. Some of the very good one lenses like the 15mm or 40mm, they're not very expensive. Uh, either way, it's all depends. Somebody who's you know, starting with the app, video, making videos on their Android device, or any other device, or iPhone device, uh, the best camera you have it is someone you carry with you, and which is usually a phone, any smartphone. Keep that in mind for the iPhone 7, you need it an adapter or probably something a different model that comes out and I'll put a link down in the description. So now I'm going to uh, install my phone on this script and I will show you how to do it. This is iPhone 6s plus. Take this part out and make sure your camera which orientation you want it so I would like to have this way so you cannot go further here like this. So make sure you go maximum as much as you can. Just press it. So here you go. Here's my phone. Let's look. Yeah, slide this in. Nicely tighten this thing. So, you know, nicely tighten this thing and put and screw this. Align it with the uh, camera. I'm gonna try to match it in that area and center it. There we go. I have centered it pretty much right there. Yeah, I like it a uh, very nice grip actually. So I'm shaking it and very good, very strong. You know what I like about this thing? Um, even if you drop it either way, uh, your phone is not gonna get damaged. The only beat is gonna take it by this grip, which I think is quite strong. So let's take a look. Okay, let's let me remove uh, this lens. Yeah. Here we go. Carefully. Make sure it's tight enough, but not too tight. Even if there's an issue, you can always use this to branch kind of thing. So this is a macro lens, and on the top of it. Is a wide angle lens. While you're shooting, let's say some on tripod, I think it's a good idea to have your phone on airplane mode or otherwise you may have to get up and do it. But if you're right here, it should be not a problem. But again, you have to make sure and if you're getting a call, uh, you don't want to take a call like this or yeah, that way. I was trying to Quite clear, very nicely. Um, I wish I don't have to you know, tweak to the subject this much, but it 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 it, it looks very good. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Very nice. 